Okay, episode four is done. And uh, four more episodes to go. It'll be done soon. I hate that. I'm halfway through. Feels like I just started. Well, I did just a few days ago. Anyway, I, I feel like I really need to <clears throat> maybe record these right after I've finished watching it because at the time of this recording, it's the same, well, technically it's the next day, early in the morning. Anyway, but let's say it's the same day, but it's a few hours later. So I can't fully remember the exact sequence of events with regard to how this episode went. But um, in this episode, we see the Witcher is meeting uh, Queen Calanth. This is before Ciri is born. So this is, you know, still way back. I'm trying to figure out like exactly where in the timeline all of this stuff is. I almost feel like I need a flow chart, you guys. I mean... Because I think each, you know, each timeline is moving forward, but each timeline, as I've said before, is in a different time. So I don't know at this specific moment where Yennefer's timeline is in relation to the Witchers. I know Ceres is, or Cirilla's, or Siri, whatever, hers is in the future because a lot of the stuff happening with the Witcher in this episode was taking place before she was even born. Because our mother was in this episode. So there's just so much going on, you guys, I swear. And I, this is why I have to take notes. Just to try to remember specific things that really appealed to me. Um, I mean, I like the episode. The episode was, was enjoyable. It's just, it feels like it's kind of amping up more. Because um, you are sort of feeling like things are kind of starting to take take a little bit of shape but it hasn't fully come together into this big picture as far as whatever's going to happen with these three main characters i'm hoping that this season does end up with all three of them meeting each other but it's since it's been renewed for a second season i don't know i want to say surely they have to be meeting i, I mean i know he Geralt, and yennefer are going to meet up with each other but you know I don't recall that I've seen any clips of Geralt and Cirilla together. So I wonder. I really wonder now. Anyway, okay. So, uh, yeah, so I've already gone over, I had to write this down, like how it was interesting to see how the timelines are, you know, flowing and the jump around in time. But it's easier for me to follow now. Like I said in the previous video, now that I know what's up, I get it. And so it's not quite so, what? And, um, you know, it's cool. Everything's cool now. I still do wish that they would sort of change the color palette when they would switch from one time to another. But that, that's a minor quibble. Um, it was just kind of, I had to go through these sort of, I don't know, growing pain type things to try to just wrap my brain around everything that was going on. Um, so what else? Let me look and see. Um, oh, Yennefer. Yennefer, when we see her, she is now fully established in her role. She's like an um, advisor type protector sort of person to royalty. That's her position. I guess she advises them or tries to fix any issues. In this particular instance, she is traveling with a queen and her newborn or young daughter. And they come under attack. And so Yennefer has to try to, you know, save them. She creates this portal and they're trying to run away. But they keep getting, you know, followed by this. It's an assassin coming to kill the queen because she's not bearing a male child. And so at some point Yennefer gets to, well, she comes to the realization that she can't, she's not going to be able to stop this assassin. And so she just kind of runs away and leaves the queen and her and her baby there by by themselves. And the queen, she's a terrible person. I mean, you sort of pick up on that when she is verbally abusive to Yennefer. And you, it's, well, that's really cemented when she says she wants to sacrifice her child to save herself. I mean, oh my gosh. That poor little baby. But, um... So, 
when you least expect it. Well, I mean, I figured something was going to happen when I, I figured it was going to show Yennefer again when after she left the queen and, and her child. Um, at some point later, it comes back around and it shows the queen and her kid again with the assassin. So I was like, why are they showing her again if she's just going to be killed? Well, of course, what happened was Yennefer comes back to save the baby. So I found that interesting that she did that. I thought for sure she had just split and she was just going to leave them to their doom. But earlier when she was with the queen in her, in the carriage, the queen gave Yennefer the baby to hold. And you could tell that Yennefer felt a little bit uneasy, unsure about holding this baby. Now you have to remember that in the previous episode when she went through her transformation, it base it well it sterilized her so she can't have kids however i feel like her coming into contact with this baby um sort of i feel like it sort of awoke some maternal instinct in her and that's why she went back to save the child unfortunately the child didn't make it and um that was that was kind of sad but um you know, you, you could tell that it, it bothered her, and I, fa I found that pretty interesting. Now, I've been told from different people on that have made comments on my YouTube videos about The Witcher that Yennefer and Geralt play sort of like, um, like parental roles to Ciri. So I'm really curious to see how that dynamic is going to come about and the interactions between Yennefer and Ciri and Geralt and, and, and Ciri. I'm, I'm just really, I, I want them to meet each other, but at the same time, I don't want to rush the story because then I'll feel kind of frustrated if the story is rushed and, and, and it'll, it'll give me the sense that the writing was sloppy and, and I don't want to feel that way. So I'm just going to be patient. Uh, what else? Let's see. Okay. So then we also see Siri. She's hanging out with um, a group of dryads. Those were the, well, I don't know if that was them that was calling her into that mysterious woods. But anyway, she's hanging out with the dryads and her friend, the little rat boy, the elf guy. And uh, so there's not a huge amount of stuff going on with her right now. I feel like we're focusing more on Yennefer and Geralt. But Siri keeps seeing these weird, like a vision things, and she sees a tree. I have no idea what this tree is supposed to be. I don't know if this is something that comes from the books slash games, or if this is something that has been made for the the show. I'm assuming the purpose of this tree or the significance of this tree will be revealed to us in the later episodes, but I don't know. I don't understand why she's seeing all these visions. I don't understand her power. Her mother obviously was gifted like Siri is, and but I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't know what it's called. What is this thing called? Are they even going to name it? I guess we'll find out. Anyway, so... um. Yeah, this, this was a fun episode. I particularly like these scenes that it was showing here with Geralt and he was at this shindig thing for like the royals and uh, he, he came there because his bard wanted his protection because the bard had, has messed around with too many women, too many of the wrong women. So a lot of guys were after him, you know, wanting to want his head. And so Geralt was there and of course mayhem ensues as you know it will wherever he goes. So that was, that was kind of fun. I enjoyed watching the interaction between him and Calanth, the uh, series' grandmother. This is, of course, obviously before she's died. And this shindig that was happening was like a, like her daughter was going to be betrothed to somebody. So it was like the formal gathering of all the possible suitors for the daughter. So that, that sort of stuff went on and there was something going on with um, the guy who ended up being the one, this fella here, jeez, I can't remember his name. Anyway, some cursed dude that was like, looks like a hedgehog or something like that. So anyway, okay, so we out in the middle of the, middle of the run, four more episodes to go. Another good episode 
fun episode. I'm never bored one moment when I'm watching this. Probably half the time it's because I'm trying to wrap my head around what I'm watching and making sure that I'm not getting lost in what's going on and that I understand all the connections that, you know, that are, that are being mentioned or whatever. So, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Looking forward to the next episode. I'll try to watch another one tomorrow. Let's see, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Well, technically today it's Christmas Eve. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to continue to watch one each day, but we'll see. So, right now this is all I'm doing as far as videos and stuff. I'm not even filming any reactions because I'm busy with work right now. Um, sort of in a crunch period. So, I don't have a whole lot of extra time. This is about all I can make time for right now is you know, making video reviews of each episode that I watch. And that's probably what I'll continue to do until I get to the end. And then I'll get back into my regular routine of reaction videos. It's just like, I'm so caught up in this show. There was such anticipation for it for me. It really started to build after the second trailer came out and then the character introductions and then the comments that people were leaving for me. And it was, I was getting really excited about, you know, entering this world of, the Witcher and all these other people and now I'm really looking forward to starting to listen to the books when this is done. I hope that the books are as good to me as this show is. Maybe they'll be, a, well most of the time the books are better. Sometimes there are rare occasions where the show or the movie is actually better than the book but I don't know yet if this is going to be one of those cases. I expect that the books will be more immersive, more involved, more you know, detailed and better, but um, I'm still digging this show and looking forward to the rest of the episodes. And that's it for now, you guys. I'm going to wrap this up. Bye. Bye.